What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using one of the dopest dragon types of all time. We got ourselves Haxorus for rank regulation age. Now, when it comes to Haxorus, you don't really see this Pokemon across the regulation age format. And to be honest, I still think this Pokemon is strong and I cannot wait to showcase it for you guys today. Haxorus, straight dragon type Pokemon with the bug terror type to pair up with first impression, a very strong first turn priority bug move. It's got Mold Breaker as its ability, Extra Belt as item, and it's got Dragon Call, Stomp Catcher, and Dragon Cheer as its other three moves. Speaking of Dragon Cheer, we got ourselves Golden Goat with the Scope Lens and the Dragon Terror type. We can Terrasalize Golden Goat into Dragon Typing, Dragon Cheer over onto Haxors, and then combine that with the Scope Lens. Golden Goat can critical hit every single time it moves, so that could be really good, especially with Make It Rain being super strong. Golden Goat's got good as gold with Shadow Ball, Make It Rain, Thunderbolt, and Protect, a pretty solid moveset for any Golden Goat build. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Murkrow, Ursaluna, Incineroar, and Quack Football. Murkrow's here just for support. It's got Sunny Day and Rain Dance with Tailwind. Ursaluna's there for big time damage and a really good Pokemon up against Trick Room. Incineroar's there doing Incineroar things. And then Quack Quaquaval, a very speedy, good physical attacker with Wave Crash, Close Combat, Ice Spinner to take out the rain, and it has Detect. Guys, you want to run and see for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Haxorus in ranked regulation H. Moving on to our first match for today's video, hopefully getting started with a win. We're going up against a pretty dope Hitmonchan team with Rotom Wash, Swift Swim, Gold Duck. I was going to say Golden Go. Swift Swift, Swift Swim, Gold Duck. Then you got Belly Bolt, Pinchurchin, and Cliff Fable. So really odd but dope team. I feel like they just want to like utilize the terrain with Belly Bolt and really get thriving with that. But no Rain Setter, right? Unless, does Pinchurchin learn Rain Dance? I think it does. I really do think it does. I mean, kind of a slower team here. So I think going into like Haxorus and Golden Go could just be a simple play for us. I actually kind of like it. I actually kind of like that. So I'm going to end up going into both of them. Quackwaval could be pretty good. Do they have any Trick Room setters? Can Clefable set Trick Room? I honestly don't know. I'm going to go Quackwaval here. I like Quackwaval. And last but not least, I really don't want Incineroar. I kind of would rather have like Ursaluna. Especially having a ground type Pokemon. But again, they have a lot of water types. We're still going to go Ursuline here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it in. Looking for our first win. Hopefully, I can just use Haxorus and Golden Go. Pretty much just set up that crit boost with Dragon Dance. and We're well, not Dragon Dance. Dragon Cheer. And look to just do a ridiculous amount of damage. Because if I'm critting every time it make it rain, that damage is through the roof. It is through the roof. I don't care if it's not very effective. It's still doing respectable damage. Like maybe a little less than half. But still, that damage is great every single time. So we'll see who they want to end up leading here. I had to guess it's probably like Belly Bolt. Yeah, Belly Bolt Pin Churchin. So they want to set the terrain, which isn't bad. I mean, I can hard swap here. But I mean, going into Dragon type is going to be good, especially up against these Electric types. So Electric Surge is on the field. So Belly Bolt, a rather slower Pokemon. Same thing with Pin Churchin. I do have Stomping Tantrum, but I really want to set up this Dragon Cheer first and foremost. And go into this and maybe pop Mega Rain. Nah, I'd rather just pop a Shadow Ball. So I'm going to Shadow Ball down this Belly Bolt. Let me make sure I Terrastalize. Get after it with Belly Bolt. Alright, let's do it. So, I do, again, I do have Stomping Tantrum with Haxorus. Uh, Belly Bolt speed. It's kind of like mid, right? I know Pinchurchin's on the slower side, which is good. So, if I can if I can get off this Dragon Cheer, I can just start throwing Stomping Tantrums, which could be good for us. I have Ursaluna in the back end. Like I said, good ground-type Pokemon. And we're going to see a double Terror turn one. So, I Terrastalize into Dragon. He's going to Terrastalize Belly Bolt into what? Electric? Straight Electric. Electric getting after it. So he's looking for damage and damage only with this. I mean, I do love the Dragon type, but it is going to negate some of this damage. And the Dragon Cheer going to fly, so Golden Go getting after it. How much damage can the Shadow Ball do? Because Belly Bolt's a bulky Pokemon. Not going to sugarcoat it. We are outspeeding, which is good news. So we outspeed here. Do some great damage with the crit. Over half. And Electromorphous coming in hot here. Charging his power. Parabolic Charge. Going to give it back some HP here. He's going to hit up everybody on the field. Actually, so that does some nice damage. Problem is, he gets back too much HP. He gets back too much HP. We might have to double down into that thing. This could get out of hand. <laughs> this could get out of hand. Look how much HP it's getting back. What is this? My Shadow Ball went to nothing. Toxic Spikes fly through here. All right, we're doubling down to Belly Bolt. Belly Bolt's getting attacked right now. Double down. We have to. It's a must. 
It's a must. He actually did ridiculous amount of damage to his Pinchurchin. The spikes on the field were doubling down into this thing. Stopping Tantrum, Shadow Ball. Hopefully can do enough damage. If you protect, I'm going to be so upset. But I just think you go for the same thing. Being back at full HP, you're probably sitting here like, hey. I got to attack again. No way you're going to protect. Now he's going to protect and it's just going to ruin, ruin the match. If he protects here, he probably could win this game. Probably can win this game because I, I need these moves right now. Cool, he doesn't protect. Stop attention. Launches. Bop. Big time damage. Brings it down to... Oh, we got a crit. To low red. And Shadow Ball is going to follow through and pick up the KO here. So bye-bye, Belly Ball. That thing got scary real quick. It got scary real quick. Kind of wish I would have went for Make It Rain there. Even though, again, it would have been not very effective. But it still would have picked up the KO. But I played it safe. We had to get rid of Belly Ball. We had to get rid of Belly Ball. So Belly Bolt's gone. Pinchurchin's gonna stack Toxic Spikes, which I don't really mind. I got, I would say, kind of faster Pokemon out here. I mean, Pokemon faster than Pinchurchin. But this Pinchurchin's kind of just chilling on the field, just throwing Toxic Spikes all around. Could get out of hand real quick. Could get out of hand real quick. <laughs> so Toxic Spikes plus two on the field. Rotom's gonna fly through here. I really hope we outspeed. I do really hope we outspeed. I'm gonna go for a Dragon Claw in this slot. I think we just keep ripping this slot, right? In church, I'm not too worried about with uh, with what's called in the back end. With uh, what I can't even think of seeing with Ursaluna. So I think if we double down and pick up a KO here, it's just a great play for us. And we do. The crit's going crazy with Dragon Tear. The crit's going crazy. It's big time damage with Shadow Ball. Pinchurchin, you set up another spikes. Then you're going for Accu Pressure. And you're just going to try to be a pain in the neck. Go ahead. Boost your stats because you know why? You want to know why? I'm critting every single time. I'm critting every single time. So we might want to attack Pinchurchin here. Looking at it right now. Hit my chan going to come out here. We might want to attack Pinchurchin. Yo, shiny hit my chan looking tough. He's looking real tough. I'm going to Dragon Call you. And I'm going to attack Pinchurchin with this, uh, with this, what's it called? With this Shadow Ball. Let's just crit through. Him on Chan might be faster than all of our Pokemon. Slight issue. He's got fake out ready to roll. It's so funny how it uses fake out. He like it throws a jab. <laughs> so Golden Goat's gonna flinch here. He's gonna go for a Zing Zap. That probably gonna KO me. Nope. Zing Zap we're soaking. And this thing's kinda just wants to their plan here was just do a ridiculous amount of damage with Belly Bolt. We were able to, you know, KO it. And then like set up toxic spikes. And just sit on the field with Pinchurchin. So I'm going to go with Dragon Call here. And honestly, I'm going to play this one safe. Because if Hitmonchan is faster, he's going to want to take out Golden Go. So I'm just going to protect Golden Go. And I'm going to Dragon Claw KO. So I think Hitmonchan's got to be attacking Golden Go. Yep. Going for Mach Punch. He's looking for the KO. Now we can Dragon Claw, finish off Hitmonchan, and just have Golden Go finish off the Pinchurchin next turn. Cool. Later, Hitmonchan. Hot start for us. Haxorus and... Golden Go thriving out here, match number one, picking us, us up an easy victory here. It's going to be a sweep. It's going to be a sweep. So their whole plan was just thrown in the dumpster after we took out Belly Bolt. They have no Terra anymore. We're going to sweep here. Terrain's gone, and they're just going to cancel match. They're just going to cancel match. If not, your Pinch Urchin's just dead. So I'll go Shadow Ball. I will go Stomping Tantrum. They stay on the field, and they're going to let their poor little Pinch Urchin die out here. And did we just crit there? No, we didn't. We just KO. Cool. Awesome. Dope. GG's to our opponent. Second match coming at you guys, and we're going up against Blaziken. Now, Blaziken, very scary and actually a tough Pokemon to play up against. So, we're going to have to lead something other than Golden Go and Haxorus to try to win this match. They also have King Gambit with Defiant. They got Clear Body Dragapult. That's probably Choice Bandit. Let's be honest, all Dragapults are pretty much Choice Bandit. They got Rillaboom, they got Primarina, and last but not least, they have Mousehold. Now, I like Haxorus for late game purposes, so I'm going to be bringing it in, in the back end. But for our lead, Quackwavall, actually not looking bad here, so I am going to end up leading Quackwavall. Um, and probably Murkrow, I think speed is going to be a big factor for us. So I'm going to go Quackwavall, I am going to go Murkrow, I am going to go Haxorus, and last but not least, do we want Incineroar? I mean, Incineroar is not bad, I mean, it only has Flare Blitz though to attack, it doesn't have Knock Off like it normally does. So would I rather go Golden Go? Kind of. Yeah, I would. Because Thunderbolt could be super effective on the Prima Arena. We have Make It Rain, which won't really do too much, but I also have Shadow Ball to deal with that Drag Bolt. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Incineroar, get on out of here. We're not bringing you in here. We're not bringing you in here, even though it would be nice to intimidate 
their Rillaboom and their, uh, what was their other Pokemon? Their Blaziken. But there is a hot chance that Blaziken could be Clear Amulet. I feel like it's either holding the Clear Amulet or the, uh, Focus Ash. Really a 50-50 shot at this point. So, we're 1-0. Got things start off hot with Haxorus and Gold to go. This time, gotta play it a little bit different. Looking for a win here. But they're gonna end up leading Primarina and Dragapult. So, Primarina and Dragapult, not too bad for us. I mean, Foul Play could do great damage. Foul Play can do great damage. I really just want to detect here, kind of. But at the same time, I could just go steal Terra. Nice spinner through. Primarina is scary, man. I'm gonna double down this into this pult here. I'm doubling down this into this dragon pult. And I'm going to steal Terra. Doubling straight down into this pult. I want this pult gone. Pult just does so much damage. And the thing is, I kind of want to just like protect Quack with all this turn. But the problem is with protecting when Dragon Pult is on the field. Dragon Darts will, has smart tracking. So it will just like go into my the other slot. So let's see here. We're going to be able to soak this. And who's going first here? Ice Spinner's going to launch. Can you just KO straight up? I would love for you to get the Moxie boost. You don't. Foul play go first? It does. Awesome. So Mercury's going to take out Dragapult, which is huge KO. Chances are you're probably going for a Moonblast. I'm hoping it's into this Quackwa Ball slot so I can get off Tailwind. But no, you just go for Hyper Voice, which works fine for me. So I'm going to be able to get rid of Dragapult. I'm going to be able to set up Tailwind. Not a bad turn. Not a bad turn for us. Not a bad turn. Not the bad turn. So he's going to end up throwing out, who is this, Rillaboom? It's going to be Rillaboom. So Rillaboom comes out here. Rillaboom's ready to fake out, which is a eh, slight issue. Slight issue. Just a slight issue here. I do want to destroy Terrain and go for Ice Spinner, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if I can get off a Tailwind, that'd be nice. So I'm going to go for Tailwind. And he's going to fake out my bird, so he's not going to allow us to set up Tailwind. Smart play there. At least we're able to destroy Terrain and deal some damage onto Rillaboom. That's good for us. Half damage is great. The terrain gone. He's going to Hyper Voice pick up the double KO. Pretty simple play. Smart play, too. That's why I wish I had protect on my Murkrow, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll take that all day. So terrain's gone. He can't really just sit here and grass you guys through. I got two great Pokemon with Haxorus and what's called in the back end and Golden Go. So I could end up going for this Dragon Cheer combo if I want to. Actually, I can't. I don't have my Terra. But I do have first impression ready to roll. I do have first impression ready to roll. So I kind of want to check out speeds right now. Because I think they want to swap this roll boom. But I want to see speeds to make sure if we're faster than Primo Arena. Because I mean, Murkrow and Quackle Ball were both, but I think they're faster than you. Actually, no. That's fine. So we're going to be faster than Primo Arena here. We're probably going to be faster than Roll Boom. Who's their final Pokemon? That's the real question. Blaziken? I feel like it's either Blazekin or King Gambit. And I think I should just go for first impression regardless. I think he swaps all day. I think he swaps. You know, I'm going for Stomping Tantrum here. I'm just going to rip a Thunderbolt. Actually, we're going to double down to Primarina. We're going to double down to Primarina here. We're double down to Primarina. Don't tell me we see a Terra. Don't tell me we see a Primarina Terra. Hate this game. What you got for us? Steel. Okay. Steel's not bad. Because Stomping Tantrum's flying in that slot. Steel's not bad. Steel's not bad. I'm surprised they're not swapping the Rollboom. It could be U turn and pivoting. But Stomping Tantrum's going to fly in this slot. Do insane damage. And we get rid of Primarina. So Primarina's gone. Primarina's gone. We got a shot at this. So you don't have terrain. We get rid of Primarina. Stop potential with Haxorus doing great damage, especially with that expert belt boosting super effective damage. It just works so well. High horsepower now launches, and we soak that. That's good news. That's good news. Now, who is your final Pokemon? Is it Blaziken or King Gambit? It's Blaziken. So Blaziken out on the field. We got to go for Stop potential. We might protect for speed boost, but I'm just going to go for a make it rain. Got no Terra anymore. Let's do it. Let's send Make It Rain. If you protect, I, I honestly would like you to protect. I'm going to be honest. I want you to protect. Cool. That works out perfectly fine because my Golden Go can just rip up into Rillaboom, get rid of it. We'll say bye-bye to that, and we'll turn this into a 2v1 situation. 
So Haxorus doing great work today. Awesome work from the Haxorus. There goes Make It Rain. It should KO this roll boom, no problem. Bye bye. He's AV'd, isn't he? He's vested, isn't he? He's vested! He's vested, and that just puts us in a losing spot. He's vested. Oh no! I can't go for first impression. I can't dragon claw you. I mean, what are you gonna do here? High horsepower and stuff and things? I feel like I have to get rid of you. I'm gonna get rid of Robin. I think that's a Vora Spear. That does great damage. Hurts the soul, though. Get rid of Rillaboom, and now it's just, like, game over. Man, I should've just first impressioned it, but I really did think it's, it was gonna swap just to reset the terrain and get Fake Out back. But I'm super surprised that our Golden Goat did not KO there. Would've been nice for you to get a crit there with that scope lens. Your special attack's really high, too. It's gotta be Vested. It's gotta be a Vested Rillaboom. It has got to be, but that's pretty much game. He's just going to drop another Aurora Spear. Thanks for playing. We're sitting one and one Good game from our opponent. Final match on its way, and we are looking for that winning record. We're sitting one and one going up against Archaludon and Grimmsnarl. This could get ugly. Screens Grimmsnarl with Archaludon. I don't like that. Not one bit. Not one bit. That could get so ugly. That could get so ugly, but nothing a critical hit can't handle. We're going for it. Dragon Cheer with Golden Go. I'm ready to rock it. I'm ready to rip with it. We're going to go Ursaluna for late game. And last but not least, we go Incineroar or Quack Football. Hmm. Defiant Annihilate there is. Um, Got to watch out for Storm Drain as well. I'm going to go Quack Football though. Mm, actually, no. We're going to go Incineroar. Just being able to fake out. We have Flare Blitz, but... Taunt could be good. Parting shot. This just intimidates our nice as well. I just feel like Quack Ball doesn't do too much. I mean, like, we can close combat, which would have been nice, but, like, other than that, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't think it's a spot, especially with Robin on the field, like, Grash Guy just being able to just take us out. It's a big time problem. It's a big time problem. But we'll see who they want to lead here. We're hoping kind of just, like, boost to crit, kind of like how we did in match number one. And, like, just win. But they're going to end up going into these two, which we do not like. That is something we do not like. Beat up in the Rage Fist. Hmm. I could just go for like a first impression here with a Bug Terra. Into you. Swapping in Incineroar is not going to help us. I could swap into you. Try to dodge Rage Fist, but then Drain Punch can really just take us out next turn. <laughs> this could get ugly. This could get real ugly. Um... My play here is still just going to be Dragon Cheer. That's going to be my play. It's going to end up withdrawing. Okay, I like this. I like this. I like this. That works out great for us. That works out great for us. So he's going to hard swap. He's going to go into Arch Ludon. So Arch Ludon is going to start boosting its damage with... Or its uh, defense with stamina. But with these crits ready to roll, it could be great for us. Alright. I like it. I like it. It's so a Golden Goat with that beautiful Dragon Terror. I wonder what Mousehold's doing. Are you pop on the Mousehold? You're just going to protect. Turn's okay. Turn's not terrible. Turn's not terrible. We get that Dragon Cheer up, out and about. And do we swap Haxorus or do we just start attacking? There's a chance that Follow Me can come out here. So I kind of, instead of want to go for a Shadow Ball, or instead of going for a Shadow Ball, I think we should just launch another Make It Rain. And we should double down the Mouse Hole, because I think we got to get rid of Mouse Hole before anything. I'm going to go Dragon Claw. I am just going to go into another Make It Rain. I can't I can't take the risk of following me wasting out a turn here. He's just going to withdraw Mouse Hole. Okay, so. What Pokemon are you going into here? You're going into Gastrodon. So Gastro comes out here. Dragon Claw is going to launch. going to do respectable damage here. And of course, you got the berry rocking. So the berry pops out here. So yeah, we're gonna have to shadow ball this uh, Arch Ludon down next turn. And Maker Rain gonna launch. So he's gonna be plus two on defense. Maker Rain still doing respectable damage. And let's see what you got here for us. Body press coming in hot. Is that the play? Is that is that the play? A plus two body press. Drake meteor. Are we dodging this? Love you, Golden Go. I love you. I love you. 
Always have, always will. We'll Dragon Claw on this slot again. We will go for Shadow Ball into this slot. I think Shadow Ball with the crit, I think should do enough damage to take out Archlin. I hope so. But yeah, we dodged a bullet there with Draco Meteor. We didn't dodge a bullet. We dodged a Meteor Shower. But you guys get the saying. Dragon Claw, bye bye Gastron. This combo is really thriving out here, but that was a huge RNG steal for us. Shadow Ball is going to launch. Getting rid of this Archlin could just win us the game. Go ahead, Gold to go. Doom Dirty. Ouch. Really hurts. Now he's just sitting plus three. Probably going for Draco Meteor again. Yep. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I take I'll take it. You know what? You know, RNG's on my side today. I'll admit it. Most of the time it's not. Today it is. Today it is. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. Mouse one's gonna fly through here. Uh make it rain stuff we're gonna play. And we'll stop and catch him in this slot. We'll go for make it rain now. It could be a chance to follow me here. We got Mole Breaker, which is gorgeous, and he's going to protect the mouse hole. So bye bye, Archaluda. Now we're sitting in a perfect position to kind of just like win this game. Are we sitting in a perfect position? Actually, I don't know. Everybody knows that I got I got to take a step back here. Everybody knows Annihilate. If somebody's going to make a comeback, it's going to be Annihilate. That's that, the that's scary part. If somebody's going to make a comeback, it is going to be Annihilate. It is going to be an alley. So we still have oh, Ursaluna. It's not looking good here. Still have Ursaluna. We still have Incineroar. Oh no, <laughs> this is not looking good. Drain Punch City could come out here. Drain Punch City could fly out here. And they still have Terra, don't they? Can they just cancel match? Can they just end it themselves? Because this, this looks like we can lose this match pretty easily. But I gotta start thinking. I gotta start thinking. Because they're gonna have Mousehold. They're gonna have an Eye Leap. Okay. I understand that. Um, they could go into beat up Rage Fist. And if an Eye Leap's out speeding us with like a Fire Terra, that can get ugly. Because they still have Terra. And once he starts getting boosted, Drain Punch can really do a ridiculous amount of damage. We just start to get out of hand but there is a chance that follow me to fly through here um we're gonna go for stomping tantrum instead just in case there is fire terror and i think we are gonna pop a make it rain just in case follow me thing is follow me is, is more than capable of coming out here and i really don't want to waste a turn with shadow ball going into the follow me slot that's that's the main problem that is the main problem i have would be we would probably 100% lose this match if he goes for follow me and he wastes out turn here. But he goes for beat up instead. I mean, no terror comes out here, which is really good news. That's really good news. So if Make It Rain can get out here, that'd be nice. Stop the tantrum. We're actually outspeeding this guy, so I think we just win this game regardless. Make It Rain flies. How much damage are we launching here? Not enough, but still, we know we outspeed, which is really good. We know we outspeed. Here you rage fisting. It's got to be Golden Go. You got to try to take out Golden Go. But only with three. Actually, you took four hits. You're going to KO anybody here. Yeah, you're KOing my Golden Go. But still, having Mole Breaker Haxorus here with Dragon Call ready to roll to finish off this Annihilate probably solidifies us to win this game. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Instead of going into Incineroar here. Actually, you might just protect here. Haxorus, I need you to KO with Dragon Call. Instead of going into Incineroar, we are just going to go into Ursula. I could just protect Ursula, but I, I think they're going to protect this turn. So I'm just going to attack at this point and go for Dragon Call. So I'm going to go Dragon Call. I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. And I know Hacks is out speeding. But there is a chance that they protect this turn, which is why I didn't want to protect. Seeing that they have leftovers, there's a hot chance that they just protect, try to get back some HP. All right. I like it. I like it. Well, the problem here would be a Drain Punch. A Drain Punch would just, you know, do me dirty. Let's see what their plan is here. <laughs> this is getting real scary. Getting real scary. I don't have what's called either knockoff on Incineroar. And Drain Punch can be super effective on both Ursaluna and what's it called? Ursaluna and Incineroar. But he ends up just protecting Mousehold and we win the game. Cool, I thought Double Protect was going to fly out there. Surprised he didn't even go for just like a straight up follow me. 
But yeah, awesome, dope. We finally get rid of Annihilate. No need to worry anymore. The job is done. We're going 2-1 for today's video. And Haxorus, not only looking amazing, playing amazing in these battles. Like, look at that. They're like, one of the dopest shinies in the game. For sure. But I can just go for Blood Moon. I can go for Dragon Call. Chance are to cancel the match. Like, look how dope that shiny is. Mwah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's lovely. So yeah, they're like taking their time now. I don't understand it. Just cancel the match. Look at that poor little little mouse holding. Shaking behind its parents. And they finally cancel the match. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. Grab ourselves yet another winning record. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Haxorus in ranked regulation H. Going absolutely crazy. Pairing it up with Golden Go today. Using Dragon Cheer and doing a lot of damage by itself. Dragon Claw and Stomach Tantrum with that extra belt. Really did do a lot of work. Picking up tons of KOs. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.